Uh, happy Monday, everyone. <laughs> and I hope this week treats you guys well. I hope you guys know me by now, but my name is Christopher Katamuglu. And today I would like to share something that my father has told me and my sister many times before. It's a story about a smart aleck student, his wise teacher, and a little bird, as my father would say. One day, a student is tired of his teacher always being right, so he decides to ask the teacher a question that there would be no way for him to find the right answer. Student plans to find a little bird and cup it in his hands and take it to his teacher. He intends to ask the teacher first to guess what's in his hands and second, whether or not the bird is alive or dead. Of course, the student can't be wrong because if the teacher says alive, the student will squish the bird and the bird will fall dead to the ground. And if the teacher says dead, then the student will open his hands and let the bird fly free. So the day comes and the student catches the bird and goes to the teacher and says, Oh, wise teacher, can you guess what I have in my hands? And the teacher looks the student up and down and says, Well, it's obvious. You're covered in feathers. It must be a bird. And the student smirks and says, right again. Then asks the teacher, oh, wise teacher, but can you guess whether the bird is alive or dead? And the teacher responds, whether it's alive or dead is in your hands, my student. The choice is yours. What this basically means is that the future is in your hands, just like the bird. and. Okay, I don't want to stand up here and lecture you guys, so uh, here we go. Oh. There's something that I say quite often. And, uh, <laughs> there's something that I say quite often, and that is, you do you. Like, just do what you want to do as long as it doesn't hurt anyone. Of course, I know that that can be challenging. That can be scary, that can be daunting to do. But there's something that I hear a lot about, and that is the future. What you're going to do in the future, where you're going to be in the future, who you're gonna meet in the future. That's actually what my sister's senior speech was about. Carving your own path and making your future what you want it to be. While of course I agree with that, there is something that I feel like she should have talked a little bit more about. And that is, that is the now. That is the present. The thing that obviously comes before the future. And while, now, once again I know that you should be happy now. You should do what you want now. You should make your today whatever you want your today to be. Once again, that's, that's challenging to do. It's scary. But as soon as you commit to that, your life will improve tenfold. Don't let what others think get in the way of the you that you want to be. Don't take no for an answer for your now. Make your now awesome. Because it's the only now that you're going to have. Now I, I feel like I've been up here for a while. Might just be my nerves, but I'll finish off and I won't take much more of you guys' time with just a, a few thank yous. I'm going to thank three groups of people. First would be the faculty and staff at Elgin Academy. You guys are awesome. And all the students love you, whether or not they show it. Second would be my classmates. You guys rock. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> and then lastly would have to be, most importantly, my family. My parents, my sister, whether they're here or not. 
Uh, thank all you guys. I thank all of you guys. And thank you for listening. Woo!